guys what's up it's your girl the real toy smith and y'all already know what it is before we get too far into this video make sure you like comment subscribe down below and click the notification bell this video is going to be a quick diy of how i got my peppermint tree if you are someone like me and likes to change your christmas tree every year then you, you already know it could get a little expensive and inflation is up so either you gotta start getting creative or making sure you hit them after the holiday sales so you can get all the ornaments and everything but here's a little video of my diy all right, y'all, I told y'all I had to get creative because my man had already told me in the door he was not about to be spending bukus of dollars on decorations that I had no intentions of using next year. So basically, you need some type of gold ribbon and then some type of red and white ribbon. The gold ribbon I had left over from my little sister's baby shower, which I think I got from Hobby Lobby. And then the red and white ribbon I got from Walmart's. Basically, like you see here, you're going to take the gold ribbon and you are going to measure it out and cut it. And then you're going to take the red ribbon and measure it out and cut it. Ideally, you want the gold ribbon to be a little bit thicker than the red and white ribbon. Um, not thicker, a little bit wider than a red and white ribbon. So when you cut it and glue the red and white ribbon to the gold ribbon the gold ribbon still sticks out a little bit and gives it kind of like a little bit of a border all right and then i just took some fabric glue and yes fabric glue that is key because i had some gorilla glue and it just kept lifting every time i added gorilla glue like the more and more i added the more and more it lifted. So the Gorilla Glue was not for this fabric. It, it wasn't for this material at all. I don't know what people be using Gorilla Glue for, but this wasn't it. I thought because it was Gorilla Glue, that, 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 that shit was going to stick. But it was giving me problems, and I was getting frustrated. So, yeah, I had to go back to Walmart and get some fabric glue. But basically, you're going to glue the red ribbon and the gold ribbon together, and that's what it should look like. I told you I had a ton more to do. But at the end, this is what it came out like. I folded them and rolled them all together so I could just stick them on the Christmas tree branches like that, like so. And then next, it was the peppermint sticks. And I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, the idea was great, but actually doing it, it was just a little, just, just a little tedious. Just a little tedious, I will say um so yeah but i didn't mind it because i got the look i wanted so basically make a long story short you're gonna need two or three or however many you want of the big foam circles and then two or three of the small foam circles i had two big ones and four small ones i got from walmart out of the arts and crafts section and then of course this is designed that you are going to be drawing on there you're going to need some white paint well, you don't necessarily need white paint, but you're definitely going to need some red paint. And then you are going to need a paintbrush to paint the design on there. And here's a little key tip. When you guys are painting, or not painting, when you guys are drawing the design onto the foam um, pinwheels, make sure you don't draw them as dark as I did because it will show through the paint. So here... You guys see me uh, making my starting point for the design. You want to do it in the center of the foam circle. Try to get it in the center as best as possible because it does make a difference and it does, you know, show in the design at the end if it's not centered. The, the, the swirls absolutely look off. So you just see me here trying to make um the circle as centered as possible in the middle of the foam and then i'm just drawing lines from the top of the foam circle to the dot and i'm going to continuously go all around the foam circle until i have the desired look that i want like that and i think with the big ones you have like five red stripes and five white stripes and then with the smaller ones you have four red stripes which is where the black is going to be which is where the black is and then four white stripes so here you see me just throwing the paint on air because at this point i was tired i was ready to go to bed i was over it i had already done like four of them so you're just gonna paint 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 like so like that 
and do y'all see the black bleeding through it i would have had to go over it a couple of times for the black not to bleed through it luckily i won't be using these next year so it doesn't really make a difference and if i do decide to use them for whatever reason then i could just paint over them again next year but so far that is how it is looking and then that is the final product. Do y'all see how that black bled through? Um, and then I just took some skewers that we had been using from like barbecuing shrimp and vegetables and just stuck it in there. But you know, y'all y'all get the gist. Y'all y'all get the gist. From far away, you can't tell that the lines are there, the, the the black dot is there, anything. But if you get close up on my Christmas tree, baby, you can see it. But then the question is, why are you so close up on my Christmas tree? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, so here's the inspo from Pinterest that I got. I think it came together. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.